Hello there, I'm Guy Henry, I'm an actor, and I'm here at the Kennels Goodwood today for a very important audition. Come on boys, don't be shy. This is George, this is Walter, and we're here to be assessed to see if we are capable of working with the Pets as Therapy team. Fingers and paws crossed. Hello Guy, I'm Matt, I'll be your assessor today. Hello, nice to meet Matt. you. Nice to see you. Uh, just to show you my ID badge as well. Very official, he's obviously serious. Send Welcome, one and all, please come in. Thank you. Come Fantastic. on boys, don't be nervous. I'm sure we'll pass with flying collars. Oh. Right, so first of all, I'm really pleased to see that you've brought both your boys along today with um, lovely fixed collars and a fixed lead. That's fantastic. So would you like to come on through to the gardens and we can start the assessment? Okay, yeah, fantastic. Pleasure. Follow me. Right, boys, come on. So uh, let's pop on outside and uh, we can get on with the assessment. It's beautiful. Good. It's lovely, isn't it? All right, boys. Yes. Take this off, I think. So as you probably know, Guy, um, we're going to do both assessments today, but we can only assess one handler with one dog at a time. Okay. I think we're going to go with Walter. All first right, of Walter. All. First up. So we'll get George to be uh, handled by somebody else for okay. the time being. Okay. Right, Walter, your moment has come. Here we go. I just wanted to explain a little bit about the assessment process with you. Um, essentially, it's to look at how you work together as a team. Right. So there are questions that I'll have for you um, throughout the process, but also observations of Walter, um, how he behaves in certain situations. Um, we'll go for a short walk to see how he is on the lead. Um, he'll be given a treat um, from an open palm, see how, he, okay. how gently he All takes right. it. I'll do a full body exam. Of, uh, of Walter just to make sure there's no sensitive areas that we need to be aware of. Okay. Um, that's it in a nutshell, so there's nothing to be afraid of. No, no, do you do a physical examination of me to make sure I'm not too sensitive? It's not on the assessment form. No. Um, I'm not qualified. No, well, we'll um, leave it then. Yeah, we'll leave okay. that one. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Be brave, Walter, he seems like a nice man. I promise you I'm not a vet. All of the assessment forms now are digital, right. so I can complete it as we go. So don't think that I'm being rude and texting somebody. It is genuinely that I'm filling in from information as okay. we go along. Right. Okay. So a question first of all, um, how old is Walter? Uh, he was born on the 27th of April 2018, apparently. Okay. Because um, all my dogs are rescue dogs. I've got five. Oh, They're all rescue lurchers from various places. And he's, uh, he was born 27th of April 2018, so that makes him five. Five? Just five years old? Yeah. Um, time of and you've owned still. him for how long, roughly? About three years. About three years, yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. Very well behaved, aren't you? Very calm, happy to be approached. That's really, really good to note. Um, happy to be touched as well. He's not shying away. So no. That's fantastic. Um, and is he like this with most people that he meets? Then? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. So the next part of the assessment, Guy, is actually um, you and I both need to give Walter here a treat from an open palm. Listen to, listen to Daddy. Walter. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, nice, isn't it? Wonderful. Oh, lovely. Now that was that was brilliant. Very Great. gentle. Didn't use his teeth at all. Um, he's taking it with a gentle, um, just with his, his lips. It's really important because a lot of people on visits will like to give a treat mm. because they find that quite nice interaction with with your dog. Obviously, just be wary that not too many people do it because suddenly your dog can become overweight and mm. and just and very food treats. oriented. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you pass that part of the test. Now I'll just make a note of that. Um, I'm going to do the full body exam of Walter now. Right, so I'm just going to start at the, the head here. Mm -hmm. Now again, we, we do this because we just want to make sure that there's nothing that's going to cause him to react adversely, um, particularly when people do come to touch and stroke and cuddle. Mm. Um, because we want obviously the interactions to be as relaxing as possible for people and at the same time make sure that Walter himself is happy. Yeah. Um, we don't want to do anything at the detriment of, of the animal. That's lovely. Well done. You put that one down. Here we go. Can I have this paw? There we go. Okay. No tickly bits there? No? Okay, I'm just going to feel underneath now. That's lovely. And your hindquarters, Walter. You are very good at this, I must say. Have you got any grooming kit with you today? Yes, I have. Fantastic. Um, Let hold. me just hold Walter a second. Hold okay. There's a couple of brushes, basic brushes here. 
Oh, wonderful. Do you so want um, if you go back to holding him, yeah. and then if you could, with one hand, yeah. demonstrate that you're able to groom Walter. Okay, there you go. See, smell, see, all right. Turn around a bit, that's it. Good boy, there we go. How is Walter normally? Do you, does he like the grooming? Yeah, he does. They, they, they like the, uh, you get these sort of bobbly, fleecy type things. Yes. So when they've been in the muck and the mud, uh, you can, uh, they, they like being rubbed down after they've had a wash off with those. So is it almost like it a feels, massage as well? It is, yeah. yeah. It feels nice. Over to you. So actually one of the reasons that we get um, you to do this is because when you're on a visit, quite often it's nice for the person you're visiting to be able to groom the dog yeah. because actually they're getting something back from, from helping your animal. Let's go for just a, a short walk around so I can okay. assess how Walter is on the lead right. when we're walking. Okay. Come on, Walter. Good boy. There we go. So one of the things I need to check, Guy, is that if there was ever an emergency situation at a place that you are visiting, mm. that you can demonstrate to me now that you're actually able to bring Walter under control so that you can then make your mind up about how you're going to deal with that situation. Um, sometimes with smaller dogs, uh, the volunteer would actually lift the dog up mm -hmm. into their arms and cradle them. With a, a dog of Walter's size, it's probably easier if you can show me that you can bring him into your, into your thigh um, so that you're actually controlling his head and okay. that he's comfortable in that situation. So uh, let's pretend there's uh, an incident. Right, cat, deer, squirrel, Walter. Walter, come here. Fantastic. Cat. Yeah, cat. he's not Quick. trying to pull cat. away, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Well Good done. boy. Well done. So, Guy, what I'm going to do now is um, ask you and Walter um, to come with me. We're going to go on a, a short walk. I just need to assess how Walter is on the lead. We're hoping that he walks on a loose lead, doesn't pull too much. Um, so, if we can walk in, in this direction. Okay. I'll let you lead the way so I can just watch how Walter on, is then. on the lead. And wait. Okay. Good boy. Very good behaviours, Walter. Shall we do the noise test then? Yeah. Yeah. This is what we use to assess uh, the reaction of Walter to a sudden noise input. I'm going to basically drop this behind Walter mm -hmm. to make a loud noise to see how he reacts. And then I will comment on how he's reacting. Okay. And you can feel free as well, like to reassure him. If you wouldn't mind walking off just slowly in that direction, okay. and then I'll, I'll drop the tin. All right. Come on then. Boy. Ah. There you go. That's all right. You okay? Yeah. It's a little bit scary, isn't it? There you go. There you go. Yeah, it gave him a shock, but uh, yeah. he soon, he soon, he didn't go completely. Uh, no, no, absolutely. A bit he, worried, he looked but... at you um, for some reassurance. He was quite happy to take the treat from the mm. horrid person that made the noise. So I think that's that's all fine. Well done, you. It's not nice, is it? So if we just pop up the hill, we'll take a seat, and then I can have a look at the vaccination okay. certificates. Come on, Walter. So, vaccination certificates. Yes. So if we look at Walter's. Right, here we go. That's Walter. Fantastic. And Thank that, you. when you get to him, is George. My lovely vet kindly emailed them through yesterday because with customary inefficiency, I couldn't find the actual certificate books, but that's it. It's fine. Yeah, they always keep a record, so this is useful. So, Guy, that marks the end of Walter's assessment. And we've got George back with us now. We're going to do George's assessment in a minute. But I'm guessing you'd probably quite like to know the outcome. Well, I genuinely would, actually, because this is not just a publicity stunt, folks. This is serious. So I don't this know. Is, how, did, how did the boy do? This is indeed serious. Well, I am delighted to tell you that you have both passed. So congratulations, Walter oh, and Guy. Great. Well, that's good. Oh, of course, I, for you are <laughs> I forgot team. I was being assessed. You are We're a team. team. We're a team, exactly. Walter. Great. Well so done, boy. congratulations. It's really, it's Very really great good. news. Excellent. Obviously, we're going to do um, George's assessment today as well. Yeah. Um, and we figured it might be fun for people to find out if George passes today to come and find 
myself and yourself at Goodworth. Ah, oh, yes. Which is coming up in May on the 20th and the 21st. Yeah, we'll be there. So uh, we shall make the big reveal about good old George then. I'm sure he'll pass. He's, he's brilliant. Come along and say hi. Yes, please do. And thank you very much. <laughs>